video short. You know, guys, I jump around a lot with uh, whatever I'm teaching, basically, with, with my page here. Or uh, what do we call this? Channel. Um, so now I'm going to talk about load bearing and how, it, how, it's, how it, the dynamics of it can change. When you build like a foundation, a footer for something, let's just use something like a, um, a wall. Okay, just a wall only. We're not going to add a retaining wall. That's going to be more, more loads. Let's call this a basement wall. Underneath the basement wall, there's a footer and there's a columns under most basement walls. Old homes in Philadelphia, sometimes they incorporate right down to uh, the stone with no extra width of the footer. So wherever this stops, um, not wherever, it still has to be continuous, no cracks, etc. But imagine a 45 degree angle from the bottom. So this is 45 degrees. As you can see, this 45 degree, but in reality, it comes off of this corner here is what they're referring to. This is how this load is transferred. So as a load of the roof, the walls, etc., on the wall, hit the foundation. It goes off, it's affected zone um, is in a 45 degree angle. So the dirt here and above, it's not feeling the pressure of this. Um, now, if you remove this, it, that's an issue. Um, we have off of this point, um, but let's go. Let's let's. I mean, that would that would help you explain the. It's the bottom of the foot. It really counts. But they, they, you don't want if this is deteriorated. This just changes the whole dynamic. So we we need soil here to protect to protect the footer from the undermine. Um, that's so I guess part two of this, if you will. So they show the forces going down. Now we got the forces going out also. That's there. Watch this. So now I put a mound of dirt over here. I put a pile of dirt over here. They call it surcharge, if you will, behind the retaining wall, etc. That dirt gets loaded with water. It then has that dirt can also then put pressure on top of my footer, which adds extra extra ultimate weight to the uh, footer itself. So just because you have a footer here, you just can't add dirt here and call it a day. You know, I'm just going to backfill as much as I want. That dirt also goes off on a 45 degree angle, um, putting pressure and downward, um, putting pressure on the foundation total load. We calculate things. A lot of times, uh, a lot of people don't calculate the earth load around. Um, they'll just call it a day, call it like it's stable. Reality, that can be a major load. If you have a water, uh, if you don't have a sump pump in here and you're letting up water build up outside, creating hydrostatic pressures and forces, it can push this wall over, which I have dealt with a few times. Um, okay, that's a quick video for you guys. And my next video might be something totally different about nutrition, but we'll see.